the great debate, one that has been going on for the ages, the aquaponic system versus the hydroponic system. Which one is better? The school of aquaponics. Now we're going to talk about it now. And the, and the key or the objective of this video is to be as objective as possible. I'm going to tell you right now, of course, I'm an aquaponic man to the death. I'm in the members club with the gods. So I'm all aquaponics all the way, but we have to be fair um, when it comes to reality and when it comes to the facts. And that's just what we want to present honesty and truth. That's what we stand on no matter what it is. If it compromises our agenda or not, we just want to be honest. So, when we give these um, advantages of both systems, we'll compare and talk about which one is better in which situation and which one makes more sense in other situations. So um, to start it off, we can talk about the advantages that hydroponics has over aquaponics. We'll start there. And one of the advantages that hydroponics has over aquaponics is that it is, I'd say, 10 times easier than aquaponics. When I, when, when I was doing aquaponics, um, uh, and I had never done anything with hydroponics before. I didn't have a clue about, you know, what hydroponics was really all about. Um, I had a, uh, I had a sense of it, but I had never experienced it. And then I had some fish deaths. This came from experience. I had some fish deaths, some fish that croaked. And then it's time, you know, you have to pick up business. So it was time to resort to something else. You have to start thinking quick. So boom, I hydroponics to the rescue. So that's when I was able to learn. And when I did it, I'm like, I understand now why people do hydroponics on a commercial level because it is super extremely easy i'm like i can't even believe how easy this is but it's so easy to me that it's not even fun that's how easy it was that it's not it's not even fun to do so that's one reason why you know i'm not really interested well i do like hydroponics but i'm not really interested in it for the most part as far as you know i wouldn't want to i don't wake up every day thinking about hydroponics it's just too simple and maybe that simplicity comes from the experience from aquaponics. Maybe that's the reason why it is that way. Maybe if, if, if you were to jump into hydroponics without any type of farming background, then I think it would be more difficult. But because I had the aquaponic background already, it was easy just to deal with one organism, just the plants. And that's it. It was too easy, way too easy that, it, like I said, it wasn't even fun. So on a commercial ease of use uh, uh, type of scale and you want to get jump into something and start making money right away, then hydroponics outperforms. I'm just going to be honest. It just outperforms. Another area where hydroponic um, outperforms aquaponics is the growing specific crops um, because you can tailor make um, uh, your solution to fit the exact needs of a specific crop. But that's for monocropping though, one type of crop. So that's an advantage if you're growing super large scale of one crop and you're distributing it out um, in that manner. So you're going to win in that case every time because you, it, I mean, hydroponics is going to beat any type of growing method in that arena because they can tailor make um, uh, uh, solutions to fit specific crops. So that's another advantage hydroponics has over aquaponics. So if you're in a wholesale market where you're just really distributing out um, large quantities of a certain vegetable, then hydroponics is going to outperform anything. Um, in that regards. Now let's talk about aquaponics now. Let's talk about the advantages because aquaponics has many advantages. And the main advantage that aquaponics has um, from my experience is that it's more uh, suitable and it's more um, marketable to local uh, regions, local areas, farmers market. People love the idea of aquaponics. Aquaponics, to be honest, is not more nutritious than any other growing method. We went through this before. and uh, uh, No method is new more nutritious than in any other method. Th science, there's re been repeated tests on this. Uh, it's just a concept that people buy into and that people will pay higher dollars amounts uh, uh, to, to, to fulfill. So it's a concept. People love the concept of aquaponics. You, you know, when I have people come over to um, buy produce, I mean, you can just people love, they love to bring the kids, like they just love the concept of fish and plants being grown together, like in this whole nature, um, you know, type of concept. They, they love it. Aquapo uh, hydroponics is boring to them. That's boring to most people. No one's going to come jump up to go see a hydroponic farm. It's not really that exciting. Kids don't really care about it, but the kids love the aquaponic concept. I'm telling you right now. So it's going to win in a local market, a farmer's market or any type of, um, uh, a place where people are buying directly from you. If you have a hydroponic farm right here and an aquaponic farm right next to it, and we're both talking about our growing, uh, uh, our growing uh, method, 
Ninety percent of the people are coming over here to the aquaponic uh, vegetable. You can guarantee. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. You can bet it. You may win on the commercial level, playing with the big boys, where they don't really tend to care too much about how the product was grown, or long as it's grown and it's healthy. That's pretty much what they care about. But you know, when you start dealing with personal people, then it's diff a different ball game. People like what they like. They like what they like, whether it, it provides a benefit or not. People are just that way. And another benefit of aquaponics over hydroponics is that you don't have to constantly reset your nutrient um, uh, levels inside of your water. Um, a lot of times in hydroponics, after you you know put certain amounts of uh, nutrients inside of the solution, you tend to throw the balance off. After the plants consume or uptake uh, a lot of the nutrients, that water becomes uh, diluted and uh, concentrated, and you don't know how much magnesium is in there. So you you know how much. Uh, 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 phosphorus is in, is in there, so you're, you're kind of clueless. So you have to kind of dump the water out and restart again and then tailor make your solution to that plant again. And then after so every so often, you just have to dump it out and do it again because the balance gets thrown off. Aquaponics, it's a, you know, once you get it going, it's the same concentrate or, or, or consistent nutrients coming through. Same nutrients coming through. You're not having excessive buildup pretty much of anything if you have the correct stocking densities and feeding rates. Um, and it just keeps going. You don't have to worry about water changes and, uh, and, and things of that nature. So this is a big benefit of, uh, of aquaponics. You get your ecosystem running, woo, then you're going to have a, a, a plants that are going to be supplied for a very long time. So these are just some of the uh, uh, key uh, uh, advantages of each system. Um, I would grow with both methods if I have to, and I would eat from both methods without any problem. Um, you know, they're both going to supply uh, nutritious vegetables. So uh, it's not really a competition or anything there. It's just pretty much preference and what your market is and you know what fits you. That's pretty much what it boils down to. But for me, in the aquaponic God members, we're going to go with the aquaponics. So this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Woo! <laughs>